Hey everyone, we are out on the square at the two-story building. Today we're going to take a tour and show you guys the latest progress. A lot's happened over the last couple weeks. We'll take a look at the windows and uh, the EFIS has been finished. So the building is really starting to come together. You can really feel the space and uh, we'll discuss some of the theory of the inside and outside uh, as we take the tour. We're on the street level right now, so this is the face that looks towards the courthouse in the distance. You can see the courthouse. So um, this is right in the center of Perry Street, and the city has some plans to put some exterior dining on the square as well, so that should be pretty neat. What we have is a entry on the front side to the second floor restaurant. Um, there is a tenant on the ground floor that hopefully will be uh, moving in, should be kind of exciting. And then our office is two doors up, the wood. Hopefully we're gonna see the canopy go on the front of that in the next couple months or maybe maybe sooner. It, it's taken a while to get stainless steel. Um, the city removed the light poles that are right here. So what's happened is uh, it's really freed up the space. This canopy, what it does is it creates that exterior room. So that's a lot of the thinking with this building is that blurring of inside to outside. So we have some, um, some details that do that, some spaces that do that. And of course, part of our thinking has always been this kind of confusion of, of form. So this is very cubic, very right filled. Um, in maybe Picasso, that those types of influences. This corner right here is gonna be fantastic. You can see the windows have gone in and the steel stairs are finished. We're still debating how best to finish the steel stairs. Uh, the design was really industrial to kind of be in keeping with the old building. Um, this window right here is something that we're going to retain and save. And then the stone is just really fantastic as, as well. So I think what we'll do is we'll probably just clean these steel stairs up and they'll remain the mill finished steel. Um, that's part of our thinking lately is exposing the naturalness of materials. So here are these stairs. Uh, what they do is it's going to be an experience walking up next to the windows. So you, you turn a number of different times to orient yourself to the exterior and to the front as well really is pretty neat. So as you come up, you're going to catch this view of the back parking lot. Really great. Really great view through here. So I'm going to be really interested to see how the windows take shape. We have this center detail, slat wall detail, that's made out of all the old roof structure that we removed. Really looking forward to seeing that. And of course here we've turned and from the back of the building, you will see this view onto the square. We have these great skylights that are letting in a lot of natural daylight. Uh, the interior fit will have a restaurant over here to the left and then seating is going to be to the right. But here's this back corner detail again, just really exposing that corner. We didn't do our glass corner detail here. It was just a little bit of a challenge uh, structurally and we didn't want to go to the extra expense of trying to do that. You can see all of the old brick wall, parapet wall is exposed. We spent a lot of time thinking about how to best to do that. So as you come up the back stairs, I imagine most people will enter from that way, probably 80 percent and you will be pulled towards the light in the front. Up here we have a collapsible nano wall system. So like today it's pretty nice. I mean this is a summer day, it's humid, but in the shade you could actually sit outside and um, you can see right now this, this is the time of day when the sun is the worst on the front patio. So this is east facing, so the sun is, uh, is rising. It's about 10 o'clock right now in the morning and um, throughout the day, the sun will pass over here to the right, and uh, you'll, you'll get to see it through this hemisphere. 
But what that does is that keeps the patio most of the time in shade, which should be super nice. And of course we plan for during the winter time. They could even add an enclosure, heaters, and uh, all types of stuff. So this can really be a year round space. You can see here how we carry the exterior ceiling into the inside. Again, that blending of inside and outside. And then with these windows, we have a proportional system that we use on all our projects, and they are following that proportional system. Again, this kind of pushing and pulling a form. Um, there's a pattern to these windows as they align, and then it corresponds to the proportions of the human body as well. But what is really neat about right here is again that blending of inside and outside. So you're going to have the patio, which will be outside, and then you're going to look through the patio to the stairwell, which will be inside. And I think it's going to just really be a neat experience. Over here, we spent a lot of time thinking about how to expose this brick wall as well. It really turned out nice. The patio is just fantastic. This wonderful view out onto the square. We're going to get the city to trim back this tree right here and then really should have some nice unobstructed views. We've been working on the glass guardrail detail. It's got a really neat light underneath it. Of course, you can see our office over there in the distance. It's really pretty cool. Now, we will be about a foot higher right now, so the camera will be up a little bit higher, and uh, you'll kind of catch a glimpse of, of our office. Right now, you can really see the chunkiness of the mortar. Still thinking about that. <laughs> that side right there receives the most sun, so it's probably, probably most appropriate. Again, the guys had a lot of trouble. The mortar wanted to dry out, and they couldn't smooth it out in time so um, that's the reason it gets real chunky and this time of day you really get the shadows cast on it I don't know maybe it's, it's kind of our postmodern messy take this right here is the stairwell absolutely awesome I mean this really frames a great view onto the square and again we're gonna have that slat wall created from the old roof Joyce this is supposed to kind of mimic a separate entry that you would see maybe in some historic building to a second floor on, uh, on a square. So you can see here, you're gonna walk up onto the stairs and uh, you'll catch that great view onto the square. Again, we did that very deliberately, turning the body uh, and kind of orienting yourself towards the square. So everything's kind of pulling towards the square. We infilled this portion of the wall right here with the old, this was the old door that was over on the alleyway building. So originally this space and the next space opened to one another and they actually opened onto our space as well. So when they were part of Mr. Wilson's old store, you could walk on the inside between all three buildings and of course, we've closed that up. That's the floors on the other side now. Brick just looks fantastic. Steel looks fantastic. Really turned out nice. Just really, really pleased. And of course, this space down here is great as well. The old brick and then the windows are boarded up right now. That should let in a lot of natural daylight. And then you're gonna see people walking through there as well. And we are going to keep that back window open so Right now, you can see through that back window all the way through the back space to the parking lot. Really, really pretty neat. So this space right here will be a separate tenant. They've got two restrooms back here. Down here on the ground floor, what you see is for the actual second floor restaurant. That's where the coolers are gonna be and storage there is an elevator right here now you're not going to be able to walk this way but we are back where we began in this back stairwell that will be a an elevator right there but yeah guys that is it that was a quick tour of the two-story building really turning out fantastic i'm looking forward to getting the final roof buttoned up and getting all these windows in here we'll take some more videos so you guys can see that. And then, then the slat wall is gonna be fantastic with, with this glass guardrail going in and uh, all the handrail details are really pretty neat. So you guys, if you have not subscribed, I'd appreciate you doing that. You can stay up to date 
with all of our videos and always if you could like the video that helps out the YouTube algorithm and we would greatly appreciate it. You guys take care. We will see you next time.